unjani na mslanch mastembe oyapila mastembe kongi kuamba kakuli how are you today how are you today i hope that all is going well all is going well and today's video video I wanted to do a hand movements video a hand movement video but with a twist but with a twist where I teach you is Zulu is Zulu is Zulu body parts body parts body parts body parts in isizulu and before someone says i'm in the nude no i'm not i'm wearing a bob tube here it is okay here it is thank you very much okay now that we got that out of the way i will teach you body parts body parts body 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 parts and is it solo 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 is it solo
here to symbolize you married, you married, you married, you married. Umakoti, umakoti, umakoti. You would wear a black, a black, a black here, and it has to cover your entire head and not show any hair. A black clear. The clear has three lines. Three straight white lines on each of the corners of the cloth. It has three white lines. And this cloth is called Ikechemia. 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 It's when you're newly married bride married bride a young wife a young wife a young wife but after a while when you're still married and after a while after a while after a while after a while and you wanna have a splash of color a splash of color you could then change to a different different Amakria, different clothes, but make sure that your entire head is covered. Your entire head is covered. You cover your entire head with not even a single strand of hair showing. And that's how you would know that you married, you married, you married, you married. And, 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 and. Covering your head is a sign or a symbol of respect. A symbol of respect to the elders in the family as well as your in-laws. Your in-laws. Wedding rings were not common, 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 common. It's actually covering your head. That is a common thing or a common sign or symbol that you are a married, 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 married person. No one is allowed to see your hair after you married. You cover it at all times as a sign or symbol of respect. That's what um, the rules in our culture are. But nowadays things have definitely changed if people feel like covering their head they cover it if they don't feel like covering they don't covering it uh, cover it and if they feel like making their clear into a headband a headband they can do that So that's basically, basically what in, is normally done in our culture. As I'm playing with my head. As I'm playing, I'm playing with my head. As I'm playing, I'm playing my head. And you can also like paint your face with head paste, face paint. Face paint, face paint, face paint, face paint, face paint. Face paint. And there's also face paint. It's kind of reddish in color, reddish in color, and the reddish in color, and you paint your entire face, your entire face when you are going to Emasimini, Emasimini the fold, and then you're gonna be planting um, the entire day, or you're going to be exposed in the heat the entire day. You cover your face with all what darker. And after that, um, you would impola, impola. I think you call impola. You call it impola, 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 impola. You paint your face with impola, grab impola, and then you're gonna be in the sun exposed. You'll be doing chores the entire day because you don't have sunscreen. You would put that if you're gonna be exposed to grab impola. Abe Imbola or Abe Imbola because it's gonna be exposed to the sun the entire day and you don't have to or you don't have rather 
Ikala, your nose, your nose, uh, your nose, boop, 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 boop. your nose, Ikala in Isizulu is called Impumlo, in Isiklosa, Impumlo, 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 Nantz Impumlo, yam. And then after that, we have mouth, mouth, mouth. In Isizulu, the mouth is called umlomo, 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 in both the languages. And that's one mouth. Mouths is called imilomo, 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 more than one mouth, imilomo, imilomo. And then after that, we have he, which I already mentioned as isinwele. Isinwele and Isizulu and in Isiklosa it becomes Inwele 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 and what other word do we have that I want to teach? We have a tongue your tongue your tongue in Isim Isizulu is called Ulimi 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 and in Isiklosa it's called Uluimi 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 and Isiklosa and then after that we have your teeth your teeth your teeth your teeth in Isi Isizulu and Isiklosa Amazinho 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 meaning teeth teeth Neck, 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 neck is in Tamo, in Tamo, in Tamo in both languages, but I love to say um ala, um ala, um ala, which is more like a throat, but it's also used it for a neck because it Throat, which is the trachea part of the throat is called the cor cor cor. but anyway in amo in both languages you can use that in amo in amo in do yam yokufaka in anyeni my neck piece but a lot to say in do yam yokufaka in aleni which also means my neck piece and then after in amo we have the shoulders what do you think the shoulders are called? The shoulders are called Amashombe. Amashombe in Isizulu. Amashombe in Isizulu. The shoulders. The shoulders. Amashombe in Isizulu. And Isikosa, the shoulders are called Amaka. 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 Or Amakalaba. Amakalaba. Amaka or Amakalaba. I would say rather use Amaka, Amaka, Amaka or Amakalaba, Amakalaba, Amakalaba. But I don't wanna like you to use a longer word which has the click and you know other words, so which is why I'm saying you can just say Amaka. But if you want the longer version of it, you can say Amakalaba, Ikalaba, one shoulder. Ika, one shoulder. Amakalaba, amakalaba, amaka, two shoulders. What other body parts? Let me think. Like what other body part? What other body part? Oh, the chest. The chest. And isizulu. And in isiklosa, isifoba, isifoba, isifoba. Is the fuba as a chest, and then we have a finger. We have a finger, a finger, a finger, a finger, and is the zulu is called umunwe, 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 and in is the we don't put the u after the m, so umunwe, umunwe, so umunwe, umunwe. Closer, umunwe, zulu, umunwe, closer, umunwe, zulu, umunwe, closer, umunwe, umunwe.
missing? What is missing? E, e, the toes, the toes, the toes. And is it Zulu? Is in Tswane? 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 Are the toes? The toes, the toes, in Isizulu, is in Zwane, and in Isikose, in Zwane, in Zwane, you don't say in, you say in Zwane, you don't say is in Zwane, you say in Zwane, meaning toes, and then I'm a Zwane. I fear people say I'm a Zwane, but you know, when referring to animals though, I'm a Zwane in Kuku, you can't be a Zwane in Kuku, like, like the chicken feet, um, yeah, in Zwane, in Kosa, and then Amaz is in Zwane, in um, Isizulu. Those are the toes, and I think this is it. We have officially reached the end of the video. The end of the video. The end of the of the of the video. And by the way, the body 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 its entirety is called umzimba 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 in both um Kosa and isizulu and then bodies bodies imizimba 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 umzimba imizimba and yeah we have learned a thing or two about body parts body parts Fish.